Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Nick Tan Chats, my magic and mostly mentalism review show. My name is Nick Tan and on today's episode, let's chat about Becoming an Upselling Machine, released by Paul Fowler. So hi again guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for showing up, thanks for tuning in and thanks for spending some time with me today. So on today's episode, uh, I won't be chatting with you guys about a magic or a mentalism uh, product uh, per se, all right, in that it doesn't involve, you know, a prop or, uh, or a method, you know, or an effect or a routine. This actually um, touches on more on the marketing side of being a professional performer. So because of that, you know, I think uh, today's episode would probably be more applicable to you, you know, if you are uh, a professional performer, all right, you perform for a living, you know, uh, like myself. Um, if you are someone, you know, who does magic uh, for fun, you know, as a hobby, and you know, it, it is a great hobby to have, then uh, it might not be something that is readily, you know, interesting to you, all right, because it does not deal with any, you know, routines or methods or tricks. So yeah, on today's episode, I'll be chatting about something called uh, Becoming an Upselling Machine. All right, and this is uh, released by Paul Fowler. Now, Paul Fowler is actually a professional performer from the UK, and I've previously uh, done a review episode for something that Paul uh, released with the 1914 called uh, Overdraft. Okay, which I'm sure uh, lives in the wallets of many of you out there now, uh, and you are carrying it as part of your EDC. So Paul actually got in touch with me some time ago uh, and you know he asked if I would be interested to have a look at this and I you know said yes right because I I am a professional performer myself so I thought uh, it would be great to you know get the opportunity to look at this you know to learn about it as well but then I I didn't get down to you know going through the video because I was really just swarmed with with work and stuff you know and now I'm just kind of catching up uh, on my you know outstanding uh, reviews okay and um, by, by that, I don't mean my reviews are outstanding. Uh, I mean reviews that have not yet been done. So what do you get when you purchase this uh, project? Well, you get access to a video. Now the video runs for, I think, um, just under 40 minutes or so. And on this video, you know, uh, Paul will take you through a couple of tips, uh, ideas and strategies about how you can uh, upsell your work, all right? So that you can actually, you know, increase, um, you know, how much you earn per gig, you know, and how you can actually add value to the event that you are performing at. It's a really casual video, really easy to watch, uh, almost like a YouTube video of sorts, uh, where you are almost like kind of listening uh, to Paul, you know, having a conversation with him um, over a cup of coffee, perhaps. So as I mentioned, you know, on this uh, video, uh, Paul goes over uh, 25 uh, different um, ways, all right, that you can upsell your shows. Now, the thing is, you know, when talking about this particular project is that I can't really give you examples, you know, because um, those ideas, you know, the points that he covers um, are exactly what you are paying for, right? These are the ideas and the, the, the strategies, you know, that he has used, um, you know, over the years of performing, you know, and he, he has been performing for, uh, you know, over a decade, right? So, and these are actually tried and tested ideas that uh, are used by him to um, upsell his work. So if you're not familiar with the concept of upselling, you know, and I don't think, you know, anyone isn't, all right, but just in case you aren't, um, this is kind of like a way to um, increase your earnings while you're at the gig, all right? So, you know, for example, you could be doing, and this is just like from my own work that I do as well, right? So you could be doing, for example, um, you know, let's say if you're booked to do, you know, an hour of close-up, all right, just mingling with the guests, uh, and then um, you are already booked for that, all right, so you know you will already be there for an hour and you're already going to be paid for that, right? The show is booked. Then you can kind of pitch, all right, or upsell, uh, maybe you tell the client that um, for an additional fee, all right, uh, kind of like a top-up fee, uh, you can do, you know, a quick 10-15 minute set um, in front of everyone, all right, so, you know, doing like a mini uh, parlor show, mini stage show for everyone uh, at the end of your close-up gig, all right, so that, you know, it kind of ties everything together nicely, all right, and this is something that um, I have done in the past, you know, in the days that, you know, I was doing uh, close-up magic, okay? Now, these days, I just do uh, my stage show, you know, my, my dinner and dance stage show uh, for corporate events runs for about half an hour. 
So I don't really get to upsell as much as before because well, I mainly now depend on uh, a handful of uh, event organizers, all right, to kind of market my show. And so I really hardly, you know, if ever, uh, speak to, you know, directly to, to clients. However, you know, I do do, I, yeah, I, I do do, I do do, I do do this, all right, because if you've watched some of my videos, you know, of, of me performing on stage, uh, sometimes I incorporate the name of the company, you know, or I make like a message appear uh, on stage. So these are things that I can kind of uh, upsell as well, all right, to include the name of the company, you know, or include um, someone on stage, right, like a VIP on stage, you know, to get him to perform something as well. So these are things that I can kind of uh, tweak, you know, or add to the show uh, in order to add value. And this is something that you can charge for. So the concept is, you know, you will already be at the gig, you know, and you're already going to be paid for the gig, right? So there is no harm in trying to kind of add in, you know, other things as well, right? That you can kind of plug into your own work while you're going to be there anyway to get you that extra couple of hundred dollars. Now, admittedly, you know, uh, I'm not the best kind of businessman, I think, you know, I don't really market my work like, you know, extensively or really well. And as I mentioned, I really just depend on a couple of uh, event organizers to, to handle that for me. So when it comes to upselling, you know, I, I haven't really given it much thought, you know, uh, apart from the occasional customization of, of themes or like bits of script. Uh, during the show, right, to kind of tie in with the theme of the event. So going through uh, what Paul has put out, all right, has in fact given me quite a bit of uh, food for thought, you know, and uh, it's gotten me thinking, you know, about different ways that I can um, kind of add value, you know, add more value to the event that I am uh, going to be working at. So again, as I mentioned, you know, it's really difficult for me to kind of talk about you know, like specific points, you know, that uh, Paul uh, discusses, right, on this project because those are what, you know, you're paying for, right? That's the content of, of, of this release. But uh, what I can tell you is that they are really straightforward, really simple, uh, very easy to implement, all right? I think that that's an important point, right? Because while you're doing this upselling thing on top of your own shows, you know, you don't want it to be something that is like so difficult, you know, to the point that you know, it's, it's not feasible for you, right? And it doesn't make, you know, sense, right? Logistically or financially, right? So, um, but these ideas that uh, Paul shares, you know, they're really simple, uh, easy to, to do, you know, it, it just takes a little bit of effort, you know, like some of the points, um, but for most part, you know, they are quite easily uh, implementable, all right? And they are things, in fact, that you can almost uh, just in immediately um, just add to your, you know, your sales or your marketing page um, and just try and see if you can get the results. Well, I think I can kind of cover uh, briefly, you know, one of the points that Paul covers, all right, on, on this particular project, you know, and it's got me thinking about, about what I can do as well in my own work. And this is um, with regard to what other skills do you have? All right, that you can kind of incorporate into your own show, right? So in my case, like a mentalism show. So, I mean, I've got other hobbies, you know, if, if you follow me on, on social media, you know, I, I like, uh, I do music, you know, um, I, I draw as well. I like to do, you know, portrait art. So it's gotten me thinking about how I can, you know, incorporate those kind of skills, all right? Different kinds of skills and kind of gel them together right, as part of uh, my show in, in a way that is logical and in a way that I can charge for it as well, you know, while adding value to the client's event. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right? Um, it's not a project that will give you, you know, the exact answers, you know, about what exactly to do for your own work, right? Because each of us, you know, we perform differently, you know, we perform, um, you know, different environments, different venues. So these are not like, uh, like rules or like, you know, fixed answers to, you know, the whole upselling concept. But what the video does is, I think it gives you a uh, good food for thought, you know, and it gives you like different perspectives, you know, about how you can uh, upsell, all right, stuff to increase your monetary, you know, earnings, all right, per gig. 
All right, so I really suspect this will be quite a short episode. You know, but again, it's because I really can't cover you know exactly what is laid out uh, on the video itself. You know, on, on this particular uh, project. But uh, yeah, I can say you know it's easy to watch. You know, it's it's a really quick watch. You know, and it covers you know all the points that are necessary that you know Paul wants to share with you. And again, the ideas are really easy to do, easy to implement in your work. And I think um, as a professional performer, uh, these strategies you know uh, are quite valuable so i want to thank paul fowler for very kindly really generously as well uh, letting me have a look at this project so that i can watch it you know learn from it you know and um, you know tell you guys about it as well on this show okay so if you'd like to have a look at this particular project from paul fowler as well uh, do click the link in the description box down below all right guys but that's all for today's episode uh, before i go i'd like to wish all of my subscribers out there a merry christmas Okay, take care of yourselves, have fun with your magic and your mentalism, and I will see you on the next one.